What up, y'all? So, um, it's been a couple of weeks since my debate with Joey. I was editing the video the other day, and wow, I found, I couldn't believe, watching through it again, how much BS Joey showed up with. Um, but what we're going to talk about today is uh, the study. Joey, Joey presented a study to me in the video, right, that we did. And, um, um, and so Joey, <clears throat> you know, when you do a debate, you bring your empirical data and you present it. And usually on follow-up debates, uh, those empirical, that empirical data will be, uh, scrutinized or you, <clears throat> you, you, uh, compare data or you present your data, uh, before the debate. So you could actually talk about it there. And so um, after I had presented my all of my meta studies um, that I came with about, uh, oh, just meat not being <clears throat> basically <clears throat> uh, mental health of people in um, factory farming, uh, farm workers, uh, the heme iron study, um, the, uh, Berkeley study that, that found a 12%, um, less risk of, uh, mortality across the board for, for, uh, plant-based dieters. Um, I brought several studies. You can go watch the video and find them if you want. Joey came with one study <clears throat> that he thought debunked all of my studies and it was this study called the uh, total meat and intake associated with life expectancy, a cross-sectional, cross-sectional, cross-sectional data analysis of 175 contemporary populations. So not only is this a cross-sectional data analysis, which if you look at the, uh, the hierarchy <clears throat> of scientific evidence, you will see cross-sectional studies are down here towards some of the weakest scientific evidence that we have. Um, I'm not going to go into what the difference of a meta-analysis and a cross-sectional study is outside of a meta-analysis is a meta-analysis of meta-analysis or, or a study of studies. It's not a simple study where someone took a cat and fed it a couple things and studied what came out of it. It's actually a study of dozens, if not hundreds of studies with thousands, um, tens of thousands, and hundreds of thousands of people. <clears throat> so all of my studies I came with into the debate fit up here in this meta-analysis and systemic review uh, section. Joey, Joey's best study was a cross-sectional. Um, Joey also brought a lot of animal trials and case reports and opinion papers to his debate. Um, basically, his greatest, the bulk of his evidence was studies done to vegans in the past. Um, which are studies of what exactly those vegans, how their diets were, um, not necessarily a bunch of vegans that were set to be eating a certain diet that, uh, you know, some, the scientists thought were, that was the full complete diet and they were anal analyzed. This was simply, we're just going to ask a bunch of people if they're vegan and study them and see if they're doing it right. So Joey's studies that he have weren't studies debunking veganism. It was studies debunking vegans at a certain period of time, how they were eating, which is not a anti-vegan argument. It is a anti those, how those vegans eat. Um, so it's very, 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 very weak evidence at best. So, um, so, so yeah, Joey, so, so Joey gave me this article and I had never seen it before. So I was like, cool. Well, next time we debate, we'll go over this. And he's like, no way. We're never debating again. You're ridiculous. 
blah, 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 which he did end up debating me again. Um, the, and that debate um, was shut down by the moderator because Joey was not going by the rules and Joey was being argumentative with the moderator and argumentative with me. And all. so anyway, cross-sectional, cross-sectional. So we learned what a cross-sectional is compared to metadata, right? So here's the crazy part. Listen to this. Not that. That's my cat. He doesn't like when I make videos. There we go. So listen to this part here. Yeah, so how do you want to go about this? Do you want to bring oh, forward the proposition this or do you want to just do something similar? To Hold on, guys. I think this is it here. You know, it didn't seem like those were any definitive overall. And, and maybe you just need to admit. All right, I screwed up. Hold on one sec. Here it is. Sorry. Right. Do you think the whole being in survival mode? Do you think being in survival mode is longevity mode? Or is survival mode like a last ditch kind of position you put your body in? Well, well, it, it, it might be if meat eating is associated with longevity. Well, it's not because when you eat meat, it puts your body in survival mode. Then, then, then why, then why did the study find that the more you meat, the, the more meat you eat, the longer you live? And he's talking about his study, his cross-sectional study that we already found out is very, 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 very weak. Almost down there at the weakest with like opinion papers. You just, so this whole, these, these like 12. Joey thought this study of his that I hadn't seen yet stumped all of my metadata studies I've brought up, we're just going to ignore all those. And you're just going to dance around this one study that I haven't looked at yet. So, so, so you, you're okay, saying, well, that. okay, then, then no, we'll no, no, drop, no, no, we'll no, 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 I'm responding. Can... So I was like, all right, then we won't talk about that anymore. If, if you think that your study so strong, I'll go look at it and we'll talk about it next time. Drop the longevity thing because I don't. I I need to look at this study. So 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 what you're saying is that a study showing. So Joey Joey thinks he's got me stumped. You saw that that gleeful smile he made, the duper's delight. That no, I don't disorders. know that. No, 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 no. You're saying that a study with showing that people have higher rates of mental health issues when they work in a slaughterhouse. That study. That's a meta study more merit than a meta-analysis showing that meat eating is associated with longevity you are totally i want to hear you so you saw it there joey just called his his cross-sectional study a meta-analysis so in our second debate i told joey during this debate discussion whatever you want to call it i told him multiple times dude you know like you have to prove your statements with empirical data if you're going to make statements that are from empirical data told him a bunch of times explained to him how debates work and so he 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 comes to our second debate still unprepared with no empirical data to back up anything he says he does the second debate. His opening argument is the exact same ending of this debate over again. So he didn't listen to anything I said. He didn't want to even try to learn how a structured debate works. He just simply wanted to say all his stuff again and lie like he just did here. Like factually incorrect. He's laughing at me saying that his meta study is worth more than my meta studies when his meta study isn't a meta study in the least bit it's a cross-sectional study so not not only did joey does joey not understand the high hierarchy of scientific evidence he doesn't even look at the studies he uses in his arguments which is what i called him out for in this first debate and then he proved by doing it again in the second debate but I don't know if I was like a carnivore dieter, I would not want this Joey guy speaking for me 
Um, he's not making you guys look smart in the least bit. And, um, you know, like I, I'm trying to have a reasonable conversation with someone and this dude just wants to lie and 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 grab his head and make appeals to ridicule and all these things um because and and then all 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 you carnivores that have been commenting on this debaters oh you're so mean to him you didn't let him talk like oh you were so rude dude debates get hostile people debates get heated there's nothing wrong with a heated debate. I didn't lose the debate because I got heated. Joey lost the debate because he came here with nothing and then started lying. So, I don't know. Seems a little funny. Joey claiming his information is worth more when most carnivores... No, they don't want to get in an empirical data debate with a vegan because they will lose. Everybody commenting on my my debate with Joey are, is telling me to debate Bart K. And it's like, why? He admits all day that there's no empirical data backing up anything he has to say. And if we're what, what's the debate going to be then? A debate of opinions of uneducated opinion versus all the empirical data I can use proving that the plant-based diet is like far better than a diet that has meat in it. Just in taking heme iron raises your mortality 30%. Like alone. That's just the heme iron. That's not counting the fat and cholesterol and garbage that you get when you eat animal products. Anyway, I'll tell you guys later. Peace. No!